At the core of this vehicle, the design philosophy has always been about the soldier. Many people will tell you that that's what they do and many people will claim that that's what they do. But you actually have to build that core principle in right from the beginning. The Redback is an immense fighting machine. It um, has significant firepower, protection and mobility. And from a, an armoured infantry perspective, the uh, ability to conduct a close fight in uh, such a way which allows you to achieve uh, the effectiveness that that vehicle will allow you is uh, a significant advantage. The dismounted combatants in the rear of the vehicle will be delivered to the objective and be able to conduct that close fight in a way in which many other infantry fighting vehicles won't allow them to do. Programs such as this uh, cannot be run by one single company. It's a collection of many supporting organizations that will support this right throughout the operation, not only in terms of acquisition, but in terms of sustainment and operation over 20, 30 years. Penske is a very large global organization, Fortune 500, listed on the New York Stock Exchange employing over 60,000 people worldwide. Great reputation for customer service, support, and obviously our performance arm in, in motorsport as well. We're really proud to be a member of Team Redback. We bring the power pack to this world-class vehicle, and that comprises the MTU military-specific engine. So it's an eight-cylinder, 1,000-horsepower engine, and the Allison cross-drive transmission. So we bring those two uh, important components, we'll assemble them, test them, paint them and support them through life. And all that will happen here in Victoria for that initial assembly. And then later on in the life of the vehicle we'll be able to remanufacture that power pack so it can continue to perform reliably for the life of the vehicle. We're bringing to this a wealth of experience in heavy engineering, uh, heavy fabrication, and enormous um, quality and longevity in the products that we, that we build and manufacture. And we're well accustomed to meeting the, the high standards required by our demanding customers in the underground mining game, but working with Hanwha just brings this to a whole new level in terms of the, uh, the longevity, the quality of workmanship, and the craftsmanship required to build these items. Projects such as this give the Australian industry the opportunity to display to the world that we can compete on a global scale and we can meet the most demanding requirements of our customers. Eclipse is an Australian veteran owned engineering business that develops solutions for more efficient supply chain operations, primarily in the defence and resource sectors. Eclipse is proud to work with Hanwha as part of Team Redback. We will contribute to the design, development and support of the Vehicle Information Management System, or VIMS. This will include health and usage monitoring system software, condition-based maintenance software, secure cloud services, ERP integration, modular packaging solutions for deployable mission kits, engineering and integrated logistic support services. This will provide us an opportunity to grow, particularly in our Queensland facility. However, to deliver a comprehensive solution for the Redback support system, we have formed a team of Australian partners and suppliers to assist us. This includes Dingo, our partner for HUMS and condition-based maintenance software, Pen10 for on and off-board secure communications, and RedArc for on-board systems. In near real time, we can identify condition anomalies on the vehicle, plan maintenance and send repair parts before the vehicle crew are even aware of a problem. Eclipse has been part of the Hanwha team from very early and we have participated in the entire risk mitigation activity phase. Hanwha have actively sought to increase our scope in Team Redback and other Australian projects. Our partnership with Hanwha has also opened up global opportunities for Eclipse which has provided a great foundation for a long-term relationship.
Visaloy is Australia's only manufacturer of quench and tempered armour steel and the Redback vehicle behind us was actually built with the Bisaloy armour um, right from its uh, prototype stage. And we're very proud of the collaboration and support that we've received from Panama Defence Australia and we're looking forward to it continuing. The fact that this is Australian made steel and Australian made armour steel I should add is, is extremely important I think for everybody because we are the only quench and tempered steel armour plate manufacturer in Australia. We've developed an open architecture for the vehicle so we can bring in the best technologies from around the world, the Spike LR2 missile, the uh, active protection system from Elbert, a range of different systems and we've been able to integrate those into the battle management system so it doesn't matter what battle management system, we can integrate it. There are uh, many components and products um, that are superior uh, within Australia which we have already recognised. Um, so utilising that uh, capacity and the capability to enhance our system um, is paramount important to the success of the system. We want Redback to be the best vehicle for the needs, so some of the best radios around the world, we've integrated those onto the vehicle. Software systems, we've also brought the best camera technology from Korea, we've brought the best turrets from uh, around the world and put that into the, the vehicle system that we've got behind us here. Composite rubber tracks, there's been a lot in the news about how effective and efficient these systems are. Let me tell you though, if you don't have a vehicle that is designed to take them, that you don't match it with the suspension and the hull, then the advantage that it gives is probably going to be minimal. The overall systems effect is that you have soldiers in the back with a quiet, smooth, comfortable ride. It preserves your electro-optical systems through a lack of vibration. And as a soldier, you can sit in the back and communicate and talk to each other. That's essential. If you think about soldiers in the back of this vehicle for days on end, being able to just communicate with each other. Iron Vision allows the commander inside the vehicle to see the outside world as it is. It's as though the vehicle doesn't exist and he's in the middle of that environment looking at it. Situational awareness is essential. Whilst you're inside the vehicle and when you're outside the vehicle as an infantryman doing the close fight. It has a main gun that's in service with 18 nations. It has an enormous range of effects it can achieve through its ammunition types. Every gun on every vehicle will have an airburst capability. It's built into the breach. You don't need a separate system to achieve that. The Spike LR2 active protection systems are all integrated. In the back of the vehicle we have a floating floor. What does that mean? It means that the soldiers in the back of the vehicle don't have to put their feet up in stirrups. It means that they can relax, put their feet on the ground and if there's a blast effect because we've removed the torsion bars and created space and an innovative uh, approach with our team members Prasan, it means that energy is not transferred up and your lower limb will be preserved. The soldier's life will be preserved. Protection is a key um, factor in terms of what uh, the Redback is offering and uh, certainly that's a contributor to allowing the vehicle to get close to the uh, fight and ensure that those dismounted combatants are able to actually conduct that close fight uh, with the safety that that vehicle will afford them as they fight through on the objective. That will be enabled by the weapon systems that are on that platform which will significantly en um, enhance the outcomes that they're seeking to achieve on the battlefield. We would not have been able to achieve what we've achieved in the last 24 months with Redback without the support from our Australian and industry partners. Uh, and that, that enthusiasm to, to achieve something that, frankly, the phrase game changer gets overused, but this is a game changer vehicle. It's a revolution in infantry fighting vehicles. A very exciting development is going to be the localisation of support for the Allison cross-drive transmission. 
Currently those transmissions are actually returned to the US for remanufacture. We're looking to bring that right back here to Australia. We're going to invest in a test cell to do that. We're very excited about our partnership with Handwarp. This is a great opportunity for us to show the world what we can do past our core business of underground mining machinery. And we're really excited about the opportunities that this may present for us with Hanwha in the future, but also other areas where we can both get involved. As part of our deep relationship with Hanwha, we're looking to co-locate with them uh, here in the Geelong region of Victoria, which will add more jobs, more investment, and more expertise. most important element of our approach here is the sovereign capability of Australian industry uh, going forward. Essentially, you can't create sovereign capability if you don't have the sovereign industry capability to support it. HDC will support the HDA's investment in Australia and will seek to expand the Redback footprint toward the global market. This will provide opportunities and scale to our Australian industry partners. The most important thing is to contribute to the security of the Indo-Pacific augmented by strong industrial cooperation. <laughs>